Hello, I bring you an awesome video today. I know you're going to enjoy it. It's a bit different from all what I bring you every time. Welcome to the channel. My name is Modin. This is Rabbit and More. I'm a passionate rabbit farmer and I love farm visitation so I can share stories of other farmers with you. And today's, and today's video is going to be different. I've been bringing you young and energetic men or the youth and uh, that's what a lot of people think. Although a lot of grown folks are also interested in farming rabbit, they hardly see their age mates do the same. And this is a story of um, two wonderful couple. They are pensioners or retired, so to say, and they are farming not for the money, but for the sake of therapy. They get a lot of joy doing it. And uh, this is one aspect you can take a look at if you are someone out there wanting to explore your hands at something and also to liberate yourself out of prison of not knowing what to do with your old age. This is a video you will enjoy. Before we get into the video, let me give you a short disclaimer. This very farming family has a very big compound where they can actually keep the rabbits running around the house, but sadly they can't because the area where they live suffer from python invasions. And so to protect the animals, they try to cage them instead so that they can try to keep them a safe environment. And also because of their age, they would also want to have a way to move around back and forth to take care of the animals properly. So without much ado, let's get into the video. Meet Kinsley and Elizabeth of K&E Rabbit Farm. Welcome to K&E Rabbit Farm. We are located at Elmina in the central region. Um, we are pensioners actually. Um, we, I retired about eight years ago. Um, my wife is here because she's on, she's retired on health grounds. Yeah, so while, when we are about to retire, we decided to get something doing as a hobby. And so we decided to go into rabbit farming. Um, to be frank, when we came in, we were not very certain about when to start, but luckily, during her birthday in March 2022, that, that was last year, yeah, we decided to start with the rabbit farm. So we purchased three of them, two dose and one buck, and we started with that. And uh, in fact, the third day, one of them gave birth to three, and we were really surprised. So we kept these six together for a, a while, and uh, as they were here with them, far we started in a wooden cage, and uh, we found out that the cage wasn't good enough because cleaning the cage and maintaining it was a bit difficult. So we saw modine with jonathan on youtube so we decided to follow up and through their video we were able to get in touch with jonathan who um we contracted to build some of these cages for us so he brought them in and because the cages were many we, we, we decided to buy some few more rabbits so we went to the university of cape coast to by three dose and one buck in addition to what we already have and gradually they increased gradually they increased and we decided to go into it because we were thinking at home what are we going to do we are on retirement we just can't sit down doing nothing because we also realized that many old people fight a lot because they don't have anything doing at home so we decided to venture into this and gradually it was growing people who come around also see what we are doing and they are they they show interest in it we show them how to go about things every day we clean the place every morning because these are very clean animals and they don't want death so we make sure that we clean their pens every day, clean their, the sheets, and then the gutters that collect their urine, we clean them every day, and then fill their buckets with water and feed them as well. We feed them with pellets 
as well as grass. And once a while, we give them moringa, bitter leaves, and then papaw leaves. For the papaw leaves and bitter leaves, they are medicinal. We give it to them once a while. Yeah, but the grass, as and when we get them. Sometimes we had the impression that keeping rabbits is very easy. Yeah, it's easy, but then you have to put in some efforts. There are some challenges to meet. Aside money, money shouldn't be much of a problem. But where to keep them? You know, there are these three cardinal principles when you want to rear a rabbit. Sanitation, ventilation, and observation. Ventilation because um, they need fresh air. So anytime you want to keep rabbits, you need to have a bigger space or where they will have air. So if you look around, um, apart from the cage, we also have areas, I mean, every area. And we have this plantain over here. It brings them um, air. Then sanitation, like I said, they are clean and animals. They always want to be clean. So we always clean them. And with the observation, you have to observe them critically, each of them, because sometimes the feed that you give them, it might contain some poison or some. Sometimes we go out to cut the grass and it might have been sprayed. So you have to watch out for all these things. So when you see that any of them is isolated or it's not eating well or it's not active, then you isolate that one and then keep it somewhere to make sure that it is doing well. People give medication but we don't because these are animals we are keeping to eat to enjoy them so we don't have to give them any medication at all all that we do is to give them moringa leaves bitter leaves or purple leaves we give them rainwater because we don't want to give them pipeline water pipeline water contains a lot of chemicals which we are trying to avoid so as much as possible we harvest rainwater and that's what we give to them. We once bought chicken from the market and this chicken was still drinking their uh, chemicals or the drink. You could say that it's not ordinary water, it's they've got chemical in the water. And all these drugs, they've got their withdrawal period and you don't know what you are buying, you don't know the withdrawal period. So we decided no. Uh, you cannot avoid all chemicals completely, but you can reduce. So when we did our, um, our rabbit, we decided we don't want to go into medicine, but we will go into the organic uh, herbs, which will also do the same thing like the synthetic medicines. So we give them the purple, the bitter leaves, and it serves the same purpose. Uh, it's not that they are not synthetic and it hasn't got any withdrawal period and you, you are sure that any time you can kill them, you can slaughter and eat without waiting for any withdrawal period. Unlike some of these uh, meats on the market, you cannot really tell whether they've got any chemicals in them or not. So at least you cannot do away with them completely, but you can try to minimize the use of this meat on the market which have got some chemicals in them and uh, the another challenge is i mean where to locate it you know sometimes if you don't have space you just cannot do it and it's not like a pet where you can only keep just one if really you want to do it as a hobby then you need a very good place, an airy place where you can attend to them, observe them, their behavior, because they pose a lot of challenges. Once we were here and there was a noise and two of them fell down, they were just going run, 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 and then they were unconscious. And if you haven't seen this before, you, you, you'll be scared. But Jonathan was here once and that happened. So we know, we, we, we knew that they will be fine. And within a short time, they got up again. So there are a few challenges to overcome. And in terms of reward, it's good because um, apart from the meat that we get from it, every day we come here, it's, it's, it's like interacting with them, more or less, because we can spend hours on end with them, watching them, 
touching them, um, doing all sorts of things with them. And that gives us happiness. We, we enjoy being with them. We, we, we enjoy, I mean, seeing them. And we are happy. E every morning when we come in, we see them healthy, jumping about, trying to come to us. We become happy. And to be frank, it's, it's, it's very good. And one other thing, um, because of age, you know, when you are aging, you have problems with your bones and aches and pains all over. And because we do these things, every day we walk around about seven to eight kilometers, cleaning, going for water, disposing of their feces and a lot of things. So we are always healthy. We can see in our bones that we are healthy. Sometimes before we go to bed, we will feel weak. But by the time we get up from bed, you know that we become strong again. I attribute this to the kind of work that we, we, we are doing, the, the way we walk around, um, I mean, doing this and that, helping these animals to, to grow. Going to recommend rabbit farming uh, to people, especially those who are not very, very strong, those who have got minor disabilities. I've got a minor disability and I think it's very good for me because it keeps me strong, it keeps me healthy, it keeps me always on the go, doing very, becoming very active. And aside that, the, the meat is also very nutritious. It has got calcium, which is very good for the bones. It has got potassium, good for the heart. Uh, we have got low fat level in this uh, animal, which is a plus for everybody because we don't want to uh, have so much fat in our food. And moreover, it's a white meat, so we recommend that even if you are aged, even if you are at any level, at any age, you can have this meat. And it's cheap, it's not very expensive. Yeah, so with the challenges, as you do it, they come and then you, you, you solve them, them out. And there are friends around when we have problems that are too much for us to handle. We just get in touch with them. Some are so, I mean, willing to come over to help us with it. And uh, for the community, sometimes we have um, kids coming here because they've heard that there are uh, rabbits here. Over here, they thought we keep rabbit as pets. Yeah, so they come around and some of these kids, we just give them some to keep because they they like seeing them they like playing with them and then the community as, as a whole um we are planning to organize a meeting in fact there used to be an organized meeting once a while but a lot of the people here have been transferred to other places and we are new here so we are trying to reorganize the whole thing and then we plan we've planned that when we start this meeting and we will grill some of these rabbits and then introduce it to them and when they eat it and they ask questions we will tell them that well it's nice to keep some you can do it at your backyard which is cheap to run you can have one or two and you can do it on your own uh, the feed is also cheap as well you can go into all the grains. They eat most of the grains without necessarily uh, giving them uh, the feed, the formulated feed, if you don't have money. But once in a while, you can give them the formulated feed because it's cheaper on the market. You can buy whatever you want to buy and uh, you don't have to necessarily buy a big bag because they sell it in smaller uh, quantity so you can buy whatever you can afford in rainy season there are so many grains which they eat so you can feed them with them and uh, it's good to keep it's really good to keep at home not necessarily as a pet but uh, as uh, a meat to support yourself your family and also uh, as a hobby if you want to do it that way. These are some of the benefits that we are enjoying. We are enjoying. So, and even 
now what has um, somebody has given access to collect the urine for him the, the, the their urine is used for um is used as um, fertilizer as well as uh, insecticides so if you are a veg vegetable farmer the urine is good for you you can get some and use it as insecticide or fertilizer as well but i'm recommending it to everybody especially the pensioners who are sitting at home and you think you cannot do anything just try your hands on something something just one or two and you will see not the commercial aspect but the uh, the, the, joy. the joy of having this rabbit farming you become so strong you are always eager to go and see them we come here in the morning we go there in the evening because it's not far but do something with your leisure with your time and you will see that you become so happy you become fulfilled and you spend your time you have quality time with yourself as well yeah to add to that um, i would say it also needs commitment despite the fact that you don't need much capital despite the fact that it's it increases within a short time the number increases within a short time you really need to be committed committed commitment because they need care tender care so we are recommending it for anybody whether old or young as students and those who are not having anything to do and we are here we are located at elmina marine and if anybody needs advice or even something to start with, I think we are in a position to help some few people start with it. Hey, I'm glad you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did and you learned something valuable from this very video. If that was the case, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel and also share this video with other people so they can also enjoy the same thing you enjoyed. And let me know if it's something you want to start and if you have a farm and you want me to visit your farm, do not also hesitate to contact me on plus 233-502-860-566. My name is Maudine. This is Rabbit and More. And have a good one. Happy farming, y'all. Ciao.